Hey HGTV, why is this in the city? Why not? We have a beautiful waterfront area with a rich history. Our city has one of the largest estuarine marshes in the United States. We were the hub of the grain shipping industry during the gold rush. For the last 78 years, we've been honored to be right next to Travis Air Force Base. And in 2012, a Salvation Army Croc Center opened in Sassoon City. These days, our waters offer fishing, kayaking, paddleboarding, and dragon boats. And we even have our own yacht club. Sassoon City sits in the second most diverse county in the U.S. And we have an engaged community that will work with HGTV to get things done. But how does Sassoon City qualify for the hometown takeover? Our cute little Main Street business district sits in disrepair, and it has been devastated by several fires over the last 150 years. Two of our most recent fires happened within three weeks of each other. There was the one that cost Shelley Contagianis both her home and her business, the Athenian Grill, and the fire next door to John Harder's Waterfront Comics. Well, my name is Kellen Clark, uh, 21 years old, and um, I've been spending every single birthday of my entire life right here. It was really terrifying, not only when we found out that the Athenian Grill was on fire, but also Shelly's house, which is on top of the restaurant itself, was on fire. Not only did she lose her home and her business, but all of the employees needed to find work elsewhere in the time being. So when it comes time to open back up, it's gonna be a little rough. Hi, I'm John Harder, um, Waterfront Comics. In uh, April of 2019, I was awoken to the scariest news of my life when someone told me that my business was on fire. Ran down here and I was able to first get my father out of his house, who lives directly behind the store. And we spent the rest of the night sitting across the street watching the firefighters put the fire out and save our building. Well, that was one of the worst nights of my life. The great thing about it was seeing how the community came together, helping us get the store cleaned up and back so we're able to be open again with less than a week of being closed. There are so many homes with beautiful architecture that just need a facelift. We need better places to play, like better parks. Beyond that, Sassoon City has some points of interest that need a facelift as well. Then there's what used to be, a state-of-the-art theater with practice rooms, dressing rooms, dance studios, and more, that now has a leaky roof, bad electricity, severely outdated technology. Our marquee doesn't work. It doesn't light up. It doesn't show the community that the shows that are going on, that we're open. And oh yes, there's a ghost. We have a wildlife center for injured animals that rescues them and turns them loose or provides a home if they are too injured to survive on their own. And the Lawler House. The Lawler House is one of the oldest houses here in Sassoon City. In 1979, it was disassembled and put on a barge and brought here to the main street of Sassoon City. Inside are some very unique original features. We have the wonderful fireplaces, we have stained glass, we have the molding that came with the building. But it needs some love, it needs new carpet, it needs help. And let's not forget the Western Railway Museum where they are restoring and preserving the electric railway history and trains in Northern California. We even have a pirate ship. It was built here in 1972, even sailed through the Panama Canal. It runs okay, but the sails haven't been up for a long time. It's so pretty, I wish it could be fixed so I can sail on it. But aside from great restaurants, shops, and fun things to do, what's our best quality? Our people. Sassoon City comes together in good times and bad. We band together for California wildfire support. We rally around our friends when fire destroy their businesses and homes. We play together and we work hard. Why should HGTV choose Sassoon City? Because we always hear about our potential. And with your help, it can finally become a reality. Because while you're here, we'll make your work easy, we'll make you feel welcome, and you know I'm the mayor, I'll buy you breakfast.